We are Thorcon, building a power plant that's entirely contained in a ship's hull. Each unit is 500 megawatts. So the picture you're seeing here is two 500 megawatt units, so a one gigawatt power plant site. Everything is built at the shipyard, 70% by the third largest shipbuilder in the world, DSME, as well as Dusan. Our focus has been on being able to build power plants at a low cost, to be able to deliver them in high volume. A single large shipyard can produce about 20 gigawatts worth of power plants a year. Given the developing world's increasing power, we would need a few shipyards, but there's a lot of shipbuilding capacity around, so we can meet the need and make a substantial dent in the total electricity production in the world. The recent change we've done, we've added this five meter section here with these cooling towers. This is our dry cast storage. It's about five meters long in a power plant that's a total of 180 meters long. One nice thing about molten salt is it's pretty compact. We don't need a lot of space for our dry cast storage. Recent progress has been the political side, a site located for demonstration plant currently being surveyed for landslides and for earthquakes and such. It is a remote island specifically because we intend to do severe accident testing like the U.S. did in the late 50s. We will actually go from full power to Fukushima-like accident where you cut off all power, all operators and show that the plant is safe. The local government made an application requesting that we be cited in their state. In the United States, very often it is the state level that is the toughest to get permission with. We're gaining support from several ministries. We've had to change the laws in several places because they did not anticipate having a molten salt reactor in their country, so they had to update the laws. The government has recently requested an independent safety review. Indonesia, or a portion of it, with Jakarta and Singapore, and we are here about four or 500 kilometers away from either one on a little island. 30 kilometers away from the nearest population area. There's a picture of our favorite little island with our cove in particular. This is not a big island, it's a couple of kilometers wide. So our power plant would be here. We'd run a transmission line across here and then a subsea cable to the main grid. We would be sitting right in here. We've prepared a safety document and we're about to start the review. That's in negotiations. We are not at PSAR yet, but we wanted an early safety review. That's important for the political process. Uh, Politicians will have to take steps that commit them towards what we're doing. And so they want to have reassurance that what we're planning on doing will not result in Fukushima. That was a very specific request that we've heard many times that a Fukushima is not possible. We've been looking around for HALU and we've not been able to find it in time from the West. So we'll be looking at Russia or China, see if they can do it. Otherwise, we can revamp our plans and work with LEU initially, but our definite plan is to use HALU over the long term. So that's what all our economics are focused around. We're also working with ITB, that's sort of the MIT of Indonesia, to set up a salt lab where they would do measurements on salt. In particular, the purpose is to develop and test a manufacturing flow for making 100 tons or more of the fuel salts and the secondary salts. Plan is that we will build a pre-fission test facility that will not involve fissile to do most testing, be able to prove the decay removal and check for vibrations and do all sorts of tests. That will happen down here in Surabaya. A site there that has good port is adjacent to PT PAL, one of the major suppliers for equipment for us. That's my show.